Uh, Matthias, welcome to Bristol. Uh, how was the flight? Oh, it was a long flight and it's good. And uh, hopefully the sun is out. <laughs> I know you brought that with you. Why? Why did you join Gloucestershire? I know because because uh, they were interested and uh, they asked me. So I thought of, uh, I can offer a little bit more in 2020 cricket. So I just signed it. With a man with 800 test wickets, I assume other counties were interested in you as well, though. Uh, yeah, because uh, we didn't approach much, because uh, just uh, first to come, they asked, so we agreed. It's been a quite an emotional year for you. First retiring from test match cricket with your 800th wicket with your last ball. Then you've retired from international cricket all round. You've got to go through a lot at the moment as a cricketer. Yeah, because uh, one day as a cricketer, international cricket, I had to retire. So I think I retired in top. So that was what I want to do a long time. So I have done it in top when I've reached 800 and when I've reached about the highest wicket taker in the one day cricket as well. So I was happy, pretty happy. Yeah, it's not a bad record you've got. <laughs> yeah. You're quite happy with it. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, now, you've got a lot, of, a lot of young players here at, at Gloucestershire. So I guess the plan as well as performing and getting the people through the gate to watch you is for you to help out those youngsters. Yeah, definitely. That's a plan because uh, it gives them what I what I got some experience. So with that, uh, I can teach them a little bit, uh, maybe for the young spinners, um, and uh, try to perform well for them in the season. Is it frustrating for you, the number one spin bowler of all time, when you've got to coach people who obviously haven't quite got your talent? Is that difficult? No, it's all about because uh, nothing is going to come very easily. Because uh, when I was young. And uh, I was uh, learning from others, so say, same way the young boys has to learn from others. So I think um, you can't be overnight be a world champion, so it will take years and years. So I think uh, these youngsters will learn and one day they become uh, very good cricketers. Who taught you then? Not like, uh, no, so nobody to taught, uh, uh, teaching you, but thing is you learn from what the mistakes and uh, what you do in the field and uh, without playing you can't learn at all. So with playing experience you'll know what to do. The great thing for, uh, let's say, a cricketer in his, the twilight of his career is this 2020 because when you're not playing international test cricket anymore, you still play in the short game, which is good. Yeah, good because uh, it's not going to harm the body much. So I'm not that young, so, so it's good for the cricketers who are going to retire and continue playing uh, 2020 cricket. You've just been playing in the IPL. You've got the Sri Lankan 2020 to come as well this year. Yeah, that was there. Then I have signed with uh, two years with uh, Wellington. OK, so j now you're just a kind of freelance 2020 cricketer. <laughs> For the next two years only. <laughs> <laughs> That's long enough, I'm sure. Uh, what do you think about... I've spoken to one or two batsmen uh, from other counties who are just desperate to play against you. So you, not only have you got to try and perform at your best, but you know that everybody you play against in this competition is going to be coming after you. Yeah, because that's the way it is 2020, because 2020 is all about uh, scoring runs and not taking wickets. So I try to do well in this season. So what is it you look to do in the, your four overs of 2020 cricket? Try to bowl uh, less runs and um, well, wickets will come. What about the pitch down here? You've played here before, haven't you? Uh, pitch doesn't matter, because uh, always, because uh, it's going to be whatever pitch you give, uh, you have to bowl. As I say, there lots of it's not just the fact that 2020 people want to hit the ball a long way. They want to hit you a long way, Matai. All the best for them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we wish them all the best indeed. Uh, you've got, an, what, 16 games here? Yeah, 16 games. So it comes thick and fast, doesn't it? So how's your body? Uh, it's getting good and uh, I'm still playing. So I'm playing in, I played in IPL, so before that I played the World Cup. So body's looking good. And you have to be pretty fit though, don't you, to, to play 2020 cricket? A lot of running around? Yeah, definitely, because not much running around, because fours and sixes goes, uh, <laughs> I should run, because the game is about so fast and 20 overs finish. No fours and sixes off your bowling, you hope? There will be. There's bound to be. Someone's yeah, going to get after yeah, you, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah. Any particular players that you're looking forward to coming up against? Not really, because I want to just play well for the team and uh, as a collective to win games. That's the main objective. How much do you know about the city you're in now, Bristol and, and, and so the surrounding area? I've been there for such a long, uh, I've been there here for so many times, so I know a bit about it. Now, while you were flying over here, your countrymen were having a bit of a disaster just over the uh, Severn Bridge in Wales. Uh, are you on speed dial? Are you expecting a call from them? Not really, because 
I have finished and uh, I have finished my career because uh, they are professionals. They have to handle themselves and um, coaches are there, the uh, captain is there, so they have to handle themselves because uh, um, my inputs are not going to be affect anything because it's not going to help them also because I am not there. So they, without me, they have to somehow manage and play. So you, don't, you wouldn't even expect a call uh, with some advice from you? Because uh, cricketers go through these patches, uh, they come through. So that's the way it happens. Uh, we, I just retired and uh, I just uh, want to concentrate my things. And uh, I think Sri Lanka is in a good hand, so they will play well. Uh, whatever game it comes to, it happens in cricket because sometimes you have a disaster inning because that, that doesn't mean they are very bad side. They're very good, capable side and uh, they can bounce back. Were you surprised though by, I guess you were on the plane during the uh, innings yesterday, uh, were you surprised when you find out they were 80-odd all out? Yeah, because that's the first time the lowest total, I think, because to get 80-odd all outs in 24 hours, so it's a very bad uh, performance from our guys, but uh, these things happen in cricket. So back to the 2020, you must be, obviously you want success, Are you going to try and bring this county success, you've also got to get used to a lot of the, uh, do you know about cider? Uh, not really. The drink cider? Uh, no, I'm not a drink, just drinker, so uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> You've heard about it, because down here, I tell you, when 2020 cricket is played here, a lot of people like the cider. Right. There's been quite a lot of noise. Uh, it's good for the game, so people are making noise. Uh, kind, of, kind of different atmosphere, I guess, to the IPL that you've just been playing in. Yeah, IPL is uh, different, and uh, it's going to be a different and different conditions, and all to be a new challenge for me. Do you set any particular individual targets of the kind of economy rate or amount of wickets you want to take? Not really, because main objective is to win matches for the Aussie, that's it.